Hello everyone. This is a recap of my live stream from yesterday, and I made what I called a personal book. And the reason I call it a personal book is because I used things, papers, you know, stuff that I have collected, things that I really liked and was not sure exactly how I was going to use them. Sometimes I collect things and I become too attached to things and I don't use them. Pieces of paper, book pages, um, you know, things like that, they tend to, I, I collect a lot of stuff. And then I put things in shoeboxes and envelopes and I never see it again. So this is a way to collect a bunch of different kinds of papers, some things that you've been that you've saved and put them together in a book that is completely personal to you. And you would put together whatever you have, whatever you've been collecting, what you like um in a very unique way. And you can use this as a book just for collected papers. Or you can take some pages maybe that are, you know, white on the back and add some stamping or some art journaling or write some journaling in your book. So it is a completely personal, one-of-a-kind kind of book. No one else is going to have a book that's anything like yours. So you can do anything that you want. Um, they can be any size. I made, you know, I like small books. So, of course, I made a little small one. I made it from a single piece. The, car, the cover here is a single piece of cardboard. And you can choose what thickness of cardboard that you would like. This one, it's not too thick. I did cover it with book pages and things and then painted it added some numbers, painted it again, did some stamping, had some fun with it. And then to make the cover, um, this is a single signature book, which you can do more than one signature. Um, I just kind of folded my piece of cardboard in half after I was finished decorating it and kind of, I didn't really fold it. I just kind of bent it so I knew where the center was. I did collect 25 different pieces of paper, and I'm going to show you what I chose from here in a second. 25 pieces of paper, folded those in half, and I used a five hole pamphlet stitch to stitch all of them together on this cover. Really simple, really easy, really fast. And then what you have is a book that you can leave as it is, just as a piece of art all by itself, or you can add a collage or journaling or whatever you want to add to it. So I've done a few of these and I really do like them. Um, I've added, here's a plane ticket when they used to give you boarding passes, Braille, foreign language pages, a transfer sheet that I've had forever, just didn't know what to do with. Um, I've used all that stuff as pages in here just to have them so that I can look at them and enjoy them, and they're not in the shoebox anymore. I can add stuff to maybe pages that are blank. This is a piece of wallpaper that I liked. But it's blank on the outside or the other back side. And this piece of paper is blank on the back side. So I can make a collage page here or do something fun. Um, this was a multiplication table I thought was really cool. I really didn't want to, you know, cut it up. I don't want to put anything over it. I just really liked it for what it was. So I put it in in this book. Um, and here's a larger one. This has got a cover. It's a cardboard cover. 
covered with a, ja or a Chinese newspaper. And inside of this is three signatures. And I have calendar pages, book pages, color book pages, you know, wrapping paper and instructions to put together a shelf. There's pockets in here and brochures, magazine pages, envelopes, just, you know, all kinds of things that I liked, wanted to save, wanted to do something with, but not necessarily glue on top of or tear apart to glue onto a page. So I just made the pages from these pieces of paper. Maps are good. Bags are good. This one has a lot of pockets, and I've added uh, things with paper clips and binder clips, things that I wanted to save. Um, and it was a lot of fun to, here's a book jacket, a, a greeting card with a paper bag, just things, my sunflower seed bag, I just love that. Of course, I put it upside down, but it's fine. You know, just things that I wanted to put together. Um, so they're really easy to make. You can make them out of anything. So what I did for the little books here, the little book that I made yesterday, this one also is various papers. This one's more of a blank book. It has painted papers, book pages, some scrapbook paper. It has some tip outs, so it's kind of like a junk journal style done with um, some just blank papers, some handmade papers, so that I can do anything with this. This is mostly a blank book with a few little bits already added so that the pages aren't completely blank when you start out. So all I did was collect a bunch of papers, some paper bags, wrapping paper. I like the, the, the lotto sheets, tickets, menus for your favorite places that you like to eat. I like dot to dot books, maze books. Um, this is color by numbers. I like those kinds of things just because there's something on the page. So I can add paint to these or collage elements or whatever. Letters that you've gotten from somebody special. You don't have to rip them up. You just fold them and put them in your book. Then you have them always. I like handmade papers, things with textures, um, and my painted papers. So what I did was I grabbed a bunch of papers that I wanted to use. Some of these were painted papers and some book pages, that kind of thing. And then some of the pages were blank white on the back. So I just kind of turned everything over that needed a little bit of something. And I really quickly scraped some paint, used a paintbrush, stamped a little bit, sp used some spray inks, and just moved things around, did it a little bit more, so that every page that I put into my book had a little bit of something on the pages. I didn't have any white blank pages. And that makes the book really special, really fun to use because you get to a page and you can choose whether you want to add something to it or just leave it as it is. So it's kind of an artist book, one of a kind kind of thing. No one is going to have a book just like yours. And then you've got this wonderful book to do whatever you want to do with it. And that's all I did. I made a cover bent the cover in half, picked out 25 pages, made sure there was a little paint or something on all of the pages. You can see where I've stamped, sprayed, scraped paint.
folded those pages in half, did a five hole pamphlet stitch through the pages and the cover to, to create my book. And then I had some time left, so I went through and on some of the pages I added some stamping or some collage bits. I even added an envelope so that I can add a little something in there. So it was a lot of fun. And I don't have to do anything to these pages. There's a lot of stuff on them already. So I just love it. I just love it. The tickets, security envelope patterns, you know, I just love looking at those kinds of things. So having a book that I can just flip through and then put on the shelf. I can pull it down off that shelf and look at it and get inspired and um, do more things in it or create another book. I've, in, a, in this one I used doilies and some papers that I got at Daiso, wrapping paper, some tracing paper that was printed, a Yahtzee score pad, piece of paper, a guest check, some fun little bits of paper. You know, I love to make books that have pages that are not the same size. Receipt paper, all kinds of fun stuff. All kinds of fun stuff. So it's just a really cool book just to have. And it didn't take a whole lot of time to do. I encourage you to make one of your own. They're a lot of fun to make. They're really easy. There's not a wrong way to do it. You can add anything you want to add. Use anything you want to use. Use up some of your stuff and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.